remember that time where you were getting off the plane in GTA Online for the first time and you land in Los Santos with nothing but a pistol and $500 in your name? I do, and that began one of the most funnest video game years of my life. Like, I have so many memories of GTA Online. Like, I remember where I first died. I remember what car they pulled up in. I remember what gun they did it with. Like, I was in front of the apartments, right in front of the movie studio. That nigga pulled up on me in a cheetah, and he popped me right in the mouth with a micro SMG. And that, what's it called, that Epsilon program nigga came down. And he had, like, this little cut scene you only got once in your GTA life. Like, it was nice. Like, I have memories. Like, I have a whole dedicated SSD in my mind just for memories of GTA Online. Like, I remember when it first snowed. I remember buying my first, like, expensive vehicle. And it wasn't the adder like everyone else bought. I wanted to be different. I wanted to be cool. I bought the Z-Type like a weird nigga. And I remember getting clowned by my friends. They used to say, uh-oh, here come Mr. Perfect. 1289 pulling up in the dick and it was one of the most hurtful things I have ever been told because it took me eight hours, not eight hours, I mean like five hours to grind that just doing rooftop rumble but it, it is what it is man, I remember doing my first heist I remember vividly beating the Karuma for the first time finding out how to like do the glitch where you don't get the police called on you when you do the heist for um, Pacific Standard like I have memories of GTA 5 online and great ones not many made recently but I still have the great ones before like they kind of added all this futuristic shit to the game and then that brings me a few years later to Red Dead Redemption 2 one of the best single player campaigns I've ever played in my life like I aspire to be a good as writer as the writers on the Rockstar team who made Red Dead Redemption 2 and then they announced that the online mode was coming out and I was excited I had the same hype as I was when I found out that GTA Online was a thing and I got my friends together we were like this is going to be good it's going to be great and then the first day came around and we had so much fun it was completely bare bones it was nothing to do besides do like the missions after you get um, freed from the um, from the prison little wagon and we just had the time of our lives and then as the game went on we slowly stopped playing it because they kind of neglected the game like the game was kind of like the bastard black sheep of the rockstar online family like it was always gta 5 online updates it was always gta online gets new weapons gets new cars gets all this that and the third but we were still being neglected like for years it felt like and it got to the point where i quit like i haven't played red dead redemption 2 in the longest time like the last time i played it was maybe a few months ago and it was one of the most boring repetitive things ever so going back to the beginning of red dead online everything was overpriced they fixed it eventually after everyone made an out war about it and then you know we got our first little update and then after that it was radio silence for a few months they got another update and it was radio silence for a few months they got another update radio silence for a few months and some of the updates are better than others like i'm gonna be honest like the harriet um naturalist update really wasn't that good to me honestly the only updates i like were the um trader role and the bounty hunter role because you know that that's just some cool shit like to be a fucking bounty hunter and even then i see it as a missed opportunity they could have did with like they could have did much better with it but that's kind of the problem with red dead redemption 2 it's full of missed opportunity and i get it there's not really much to do like money wise because they're a business at the end of the day it's a really shitty like cop out but they're a business at the day and they really can't monetize flying oppressor mark two horses like they can without breaking like the realism and immersion of it because people will be in a fucking uproar but the game has been so neglected it's to the point where everyone who is playing the game has begged rockstar to save red dead redemption online and this isn't the first time this has happened this is almost the second or third time like this i remember vividly the clock the um when everyone dressed up as clowns and went to valentine and protest like how they're killing this game and it's not like it's a bad game like this is an amazing game with so much potential 
but they just continuously neglect it and now it's happening again like this game is getting no updates it's barely getting bug fixes like the game is just here just to like keep niggas happy like they dropped when was the last time they dropped an update when did the naturalist update come out that was in 2020 and that was a while ago in 2020 like i don't even remember when the update came out um i'll probably put it on the screen here but it's been so long without like a good update that we're sick of it it's really no point to even playing the game but we put so much time so much effort so much investment into the game it would be foolish for us to quit and i know i said i quit too like i have almost all the properties i have the camps i have the um, moonshiner role the bounty hunter role trader role naturalist role i think i have almost all the roles in the game and i quit like i'm pretty high level but when we do get content it's usually in the form of shitty battle passes and sometimes they're good there's like one or two things that are good in like i don't know a 25 tier battle pass and that's unacceptable it's 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 like we would be fine spending money on battle passes if you actually put work into the game which you guys don't do because these they're just trying to recoup money like it's gta online but this it's not much you can do with in like in the wild west like we can't have ak's out here that you can monetize it's not much you can do and it's to the point where we don't even have heist i'm not counting that capitale bullshit as heist i'm talking about getting four of your niggas together and going into the bank in um san denis and fucking shit up bro like we did in the story we don't even have heist yet how long did it take us to get heist in gta online a year and a half two yeah we haven't had heist in about three years almost four and it's just so much missed opportunity and disappointment save red dead online needs to like hit these niggas hard and i hope it does and it will i, I understand that other corporations are getting in on it because you know big corporations see time the cash grab is what they do but it's nice to know that other people are seeing our plight outside of our little community like axe made a little post about it is getting put on like the news it's getting put on these other websites it's it's becoming just something so widespread and it puts a smile on my face and it's honestly a win-win for us either rockstar looks terrible because we made this outcry and everyone is getting in on it and they still don't do anything that makes them look bad or we get content it's a win-win for us regardless so however the situation ends i'm fine i would i will definitely be getting back on red dead redemption too but it's it's just damn it sucks that we had to get to the point where we just had to like scream and shout and throw tantrums like kids it's not even tantrums like legitimate outrage like we're not even throwing tantrums this is like a legitimate outrage on a game that has so much potential that has been squandered and fumbled and kicked and, and shot and, and beat and dragged through the mud like it's it sucks that we had to do this to get attention for a game that should be in my opinion better than gta online because with the past few updates besides um the kyle del piro heist and the contract was kind of mid it was it's not really much gta online is doing in my opinion red dead redemption 2 is better than whatever rockstar has put out since 2018 for gta online i stand by that firmly but hopefully something gets done after this so hopefully something gets either done for us or to rockstar because that's the only way it can end but more power to you cowboys y'all niggas take it easy but not too easy because that's when life gets hard and say blessed i'm out peace